Sadaka Sareen and you are watching Youth for Work. Today we are back with another video on an exam conducted by a Japanese founded company NTT, the Nippon Telegraph and Telephone Data Exam. NTT Data is a subsidiary of NTT, a Japanese telegraph company founded in 1967 and headquartered in Japan. NTT Data is the largest of the IT services company headquartered in Japan. NTT Data is a publicly traded company which is about 54% owned by NTT. Its business areas are in national and local governments, financial and telecommunication sectors. So today we'll be giving you a brief idea about NTT Data exam that will surely help you if you are looking forward to prepare for the exam. We'll be telling you about the exam and we'll share the exam pattern and tips and tricks to crack the NTT Data exam. and we at Youth for Work will now be discussing the eligibility criteria for NTT data exam. The candidate must be a graduate from any recognized central or state board with a minimum of 60% marks. A maximum back gap of one year is permissible after 12 and not after or in between semesters of graduation. A graduation degree in BE or BTEC in any discipline that is CSE, ECE, IT, EIE, etc. The candidate should not have any pending backlogs at the time of appearing for NTT. The applicant must have good communication and interpersonal skills along with a good command of technical subjects. If the candidate has attended an interview within the past six months from the date of new application, then he or she is not eligible to apply. If for some reason NTT data has terminated the candidate's application, then the candidate is not eligible to apply. But for any reason, a candidate after applying in NTT data misses the opportunity to give the interview, then the candidate holds the right to apply again and can attend the selection process. and let's discuss the exam pattern for the NTT data exam. NTT data has four elimination rounds. 1. Written test. 2. Group discussion. 3. Face-to-face -face technical interview. And 4. HR interview. There are 100 questions and time given to attempt is 120 minutes. There is no negative marking. The paper is divided into four sections. Quantitative ability with 25 questions to be attempted in 35 minutes. English with 25 questions to be attempted in 25 minutes, logical reasoning with 25 questions to be attempted in 35 minutes, and computer programming with 25 questions to be attempted in 25 minutes. Siddhartha Sareen and we at Youth for Work will now discuss the tips and tricks related to NTT data exam. Don't waste your time on difficult questions. Try solving those first whom you are sure about. Do attempt all questions as there is no negative marking. Time management is very important during the exam but also while preparing for exam. Make daily targets for yourself and check that at the end of the day. Focus on your communication skills as it is one of the important factors in selection. 
While you prepare, you should write down the important things that you need to revise before the exam. Give as many mock tests that will help you to improve your speed and will make you analyze your weaker and stronger areas. Make a daily habit of writing that will help you increase your speed.